Shalom. Shalom. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We give praise to Ahaya, Ashere Ahaya, and our Adana Yache, and our mother Ruaka Kwadoshi. We hope you all have been enjoying this opportunity. We've been learning how the church is being built, and now we're going to be looking into the 12 mountains, which are the 12 mindsets of all the nations of the world. See how different people that hear the gospel, how they react to it. All right? Let's start in Hermas, parable 9, chapter 17, verse 1. All right. Now then, sir, explain to me concerning the mountains. Wherefore are their forms diverse, the one from the other, and various? Listen, say, if he, these twelve mountains are twelve tribes that inhabit the whole world. To these tribes, then the son of Elohim was preached by the apostles. But explain to me, sir, why they are various, these mountains, and each has a different appearance. Listen, saith he, these twelve tribes which inhabit the whole world are twelve nations, and they are various in understanding and in mind. So you see he's talking about the mindsets, okay? As various then as thou sawest these mountains to be, such also are the varieties in the minds of these nations. <laughs> so this is about the twelve varieties of the minds of the world, That's right. all right? And such their understanding. And I will show unto thee the conduct of each. So this is for to understand the 12 types of people that hear the gospel in the world, all right? First, sir, say I, show me this, why the mountains being so various, yet when their stones were set into the building, became bright and of one color, just like the stones that had come up from the deep. So he wants to know why is it all these different mindsets of people, yet when they come into the church, they all become one and the same. They all become just like Yache. Okay? Because, saith he, all the nations that dwell under heaven, when they heard and believed, were called by one name of the son of Elohim. So having received the seal, they had one understanding and one mind, and one faith became theirs and one love. And they bore the spirits of the virgins along with the name. Therefore the building of the tower became of one color, even bright as the sun. So there we see how we become in unity. That's how no matter what mindset we come from, no matter how we think, through the seal of the name, Yache, and the Holy Spirit, and the baptism, we'll become one and the same. All called that we become united through Yache. That's right. Now I'm, I'm at 17 and 5 in parable 9 okay. of Hermit. But after they entered in together and became one body, some of them defiled themselves and were cast out from the society of the righteous, and became again such as they were before, or rather even worse. Now it is sad. Those evil spirits, those evil women, cause us to be cast out and go back to where we came from. We go back to the mindset that we came from, out of whichever one of the mountains we came out of. And in some instances, we're in a worse case. And we're going to see why. Why were we in a worse case? How, sir, say I? Did they become worse after they have fully known Elohim? He that knoweth not Elohim saith he, and committeth wickedness, hath a certain punishment for his wickedness. But he that knoweth Elohim fully ought not any longer to commit wickedness, but to do good. If then he that ought to do good committeth wickedness, does he not seem to do greater wickedness than the man that knoweth not Elohim? That's right. Therefore, they that have not known Elohim and commit wickedness are condemned to death. See that we die regardless. But they that have known Elohim and seen his mighty works and yet commit wickedness shall receive a double punishment and shall die eternally. Yeah. In this way, therefore, shall the church of Elohim be purified. Right, so if we don't bear these things, we're going to be cast out during the purification of the church. Continue. And if thou sawest the stones removed from the tower and delivered over to the evil spirits, they too shall be cast out. And there shall be one body of them that are purified. So the body will be those that are purified. Anyone that dwells with those evil spirits shall be cast out. There is no dwelling with evil spirits and still being a part of the church. Right. Jew or Gentile. Right. Continue. Just as the tower, after it had been purified, became made as it were of one stone. Right. Thus shall it be with the church of Elohim also, after she hath been purified, and the wicked and the hypocrites and the blasphemers and the double-minded, and they that commit various kinds of wickedness have been cast out. And you can touch on Luke chapter 12, verse 1 for hypocrites. You can touch the blasphemers, Romans chapter 2, 
verse 23 to 24 touched on being a blasphemer because we were breaking the law. And also the double-minded as Matthew 15, 7 to 20 speaks about the double-minded. All right. And if thou sawest the stones removed from the tower and delivered over to the evil spirits, they too shall be cast out. And there shall be one body of them that are purified. Just as the tower after that had been purified became made as it were of one stone, thus shall it be with the church of Elohim also. After she hath been purified, the wicked and the hypocrites and the blasphemers and the double-minded and they that commit various kinds of wickedness have been cast out. Now we have a good understanding of that. Right. All right, continue. And when these have been cast out, the church of Elohim shall be one body, one understanding. So Ahaya purged out all that hypocrisy, blasphemy, and wickedness. Right. Now we can be in one understanding, right? But there's no unity with those spirits. That's right. That's right. And dear brothers and sisters, be exhorted and have to walk in the simplicity and guilelessness of the gospel that we may be one body. We cannot come with any of our former ways and our former selves. Because he that will seek to save his life shall lose it. And he that will forsake his life for Yahweh's sake shall save it. That's right. All right. One mind, one faith, one love. And then the son of Elohim shall rejoice and be glad in them. For that he hath received back his people pure. Received back his people pure. That shows it was Jew and Gentile. And he said received back because these were the people from the beginning before the world began that were called. And they went through the world and he sanctified them in the world to bring them back to him pure. Mm -hmm. Great and glorious, sir, say I. <laughs> but he was like, whoa, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Uh, it's a testimony to the devil because the devil thought that he could he could pretty much turn Elohim's people. Mm. So we were already serving Elohim in the spirit. We had to come into the world to go through the temptations of the devil to overcome him as a testimony to him that he is not greater than Elohim. Ahaya is Elohim. <laughs> Righteousness prevails. <laughs> That's right. Once more, sir, say I. Show me the force and the doings of each one of the mountains, that every soul that trusteth in Ahia, when it heareth, may glorify his great and marvelous and glorious name. So it's for everyone to hear of these mountains so that we may magnify Ahia, right? Listen, saith he, to the variety of the mountains and of the twelve nations. From here, we're going to go into the twelve nations, the twelve mindsets to see the different types of people in the world and how we can be hindered from the gospel and see what the angel of repentance has given as an exhortation for us. Good. Jala. Jala.